Good afternoon, we are on the 9th of the 9th, 2021. I'm going to be sharing with you daily meditations with the Holy Spirit for the 7th of September. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Mm -hmm. Angel of God, my guardian dear, to whom God's love commits me here, ever this day be at my side to light and guard, to rule and guide. Amen. The Jesus Prayer, the prayer of the heart. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy on me, a sinner. Prayer to the Holy Spirit. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful and kindle in them the fire of your love. Send forth your Spirit, and they shall be created, and you shall renew the face of the earth. Amen. Holy Michael Archangel, defend us in this day of battle. Be my safeguard against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, I humbly pray, and do thou, Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, thrust down to hell Satan and all the wicked evil spirit who wander through the world for the ruin of souls. Amen. Holy, come Holy Ghost, Creator blessed, and in our hearts take up thy rest. Come with thy grace and heavenly aid to fill the hearts which thou hast made, to fill the hearts which thou hast made. Amen. The reading for the 7th of September is taken from 1 Corinthians 2, verse 2 to 13. We speak of these things in words, taught to us not by human wisdom, but by the Spirit, expressing spiritual things in spiritual words. The reflection, science and other forms of human knowledge can lead us only so far. When we speak about spiritual things, God's ways are mysterious and beyond our understanding. Yet, through revelation, we do have spiritual words and concepts that can lead us in the right direction in order to delve into the mysteries of our faith. The prayer, may my thoughts be spiritual, Holy Spirit of God, and not mired in what is worldly. Amen. God bless you all. Thank you so much for listening. Sending you prayers of healing and peace in abundance. And may you always be happy and joyful in the Lord. I thank you so much for listening to me. And thank you for all your comments. I might not keep up with them all the time. I'm more busy now than I've ever been in my life. I, the time just runs away every day. I mean, I've tried to prepare in advance for things that I'm going to be doing next month or so on, and I still never catch up. And then you have to attend to shopping, cooking, cleaning, all sorts of things dealing with people, helping people, but the time just runs away. I had to ask my neighbour a favour today. She was passing, she lives that way, but our garden is shared and their great garden is much better than me. She was going to do something to hers. So I asked her, because I've had two plants here needing to dig in, and one's died since it's sitting here, even though I watered it, it should be outside. So then I, she asked me if I've got some tools, you know, like the fork and the little thing. Uh, it's like a little spade. 
So I said, yes, but I don't know where they are. So I said, oh, maybe they're in my... So I went to my cupboard and this was really funny because I ran out of printing paper the, for printing stuff to take to my priest friend and the other day. And I've got three 500 page packs in there, Tesco special, that I must have just shoved in the, in, in, in the cupboard. And so she did me a favor because I don't normally go in the cupboard. I have to move a chair and something else, a lampstand. And then so I said, oh, God, you've done me a favor. And they weren't there. And then I, I was like, this, I wonder what I've done with them. And then she said, are they over there? And she pointed to somewhere in the corner over here. And they were. They were in a pot. But sort of, uh, there's a multitude of pots there that have had plants in them. Two, three, four, about six. And there's a little feed, feed for the little neighbour's dogs. When I go to the laundry, they, they come for little bites of pedigree, whatever they are, little bites. And they're tucked behind the pedigree pack with these two, a trowel and some little so I was able to so she dug my plants in for me and watered my plants <laughs> That's how, I, I just don't have the time to go along the building and out and all around and do these things <laughs> so I've got lovely neighbours that they're kind like that so just run out of time but I, do, I try to catch up and that's what I was doing today so God bless you all. We're not quite caught up. I've got a few more little ones to do. And then on to the Bibles, the daily readings. I think there's only about three days I've missed. And then I might I might do another day of the Bible in one year because they're already typed up. And then I might <laughs> I might do Brer Rabbit is a Rascal <laughs> for the ones who like Enid Blyton stories. So you see, there's never any time, is there? When you get old and you're retired, you have more and more to do than when you're actually working. God bless you all, and thank you again for listening. Bye-bye.